In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make continuous bias strips using just one square of fabric. My square is 30 centimetres by 30 centimetres, which is approximately 12 inches by 12 inches. You can make sure that it's a perfect square by just bringing the corners together and then you can just see that if the other corners match, then you have got a perfect square. The first thing to do is to cut your square across the diagonal. So you can do this by marking it and using scissors, or if you have a rotary cutter, it kind of speeds that process up. Once you've cut your square in half, you're going to bring these two edges together, like so, and then you need to place them right sides together and stitch along this edge. I'm going to use a small seam allowance of about six millimetres, so make sure that your points are just slightly overhanging the edge, and then we're going to stitch along here. And now that seam is sewn, open it out and press the seam allowance open. The next step is to mark your bias strips. I'm going to mark mine at three and a half centimetre intervals, which is approximately one and a half inches in width. You want to mark these so that they are parallel to the bias, which is this edge here. So this is the diagonal where you cut through your square at the beginning. those I'm now going to just mark my seam allowance at either edge and I'm going to mark this at half a centimetre or one quarter of an inch. The next stage is to bring together those edges so I form back into a square again and you can see that the lines meet where they cross here. But what I need to do is to just misalign them by one line. So instead of this one meeting here, I want this line to meet here instead. So I'm going to just bring that over to here. And then this is what's going to make me be able to cut the strip in one continual spiral so I can align the edges there and then I'm going to just pin here just to check that when that opens up and if I were to cut that that will give me my continual line so I'm going to carry on pinning along this edge and then this edge is going to be sewn seam is sewn you're going to press that open. You might find that it helps to use a sleeve board at this stage. And next I'm going to cut along the lines to create my continual strip of bias tape. And you can ignore the last bit there where the strip isn't quite wide enough 
but I now have quite a long piece without having to cut great big diagonal lengths across my fabric. Take a look at my other video where I'll show you four different methods to create those folded bias strips. The link to the video can be found in the notes below.